I'm Zoe Delante Light, and you don't need me to tell you that Tears of the Kingdom is big. Like, big, big. With three levels to explore, the sky, the surface and the depths, the world you find yourself in has a gargantuan amount to offer. Your adventure log will get filled up with side quests and main quests and side adventures rapidly, but one of the many things Tears of the Kingdom does the same as its predecessor is how it handles hidden quests. You might hear a whisper in a town square, or something muttered by a stable hand, and even though they seem to want something badly, it won't be listed in your adventure log. Then you've gone off on your travels, and before you know it, the whole exchange has slipped your memory. This is where I come in. These are some of the itty bitty side quests you can easily miss in Tears of the Kingdom, where to find them with as little spoilers as I can manage. Cherry blossom trees aren't just pretty. They're linked to a special creature named Satori. Although their trademark pink is hard to miss, cherry blossom trees tend to be high up, so you will need some guidance about where to look. Luckily, the outskirt stable that's near a great fairy has a full-on map for you to screenshot and follow to find that blush topiary. Offer fruit to them and a satori will appear and show you specific nearby locations, which you should definitely investigate for yourself. Be prepared to mark said locations on your map, as the Satori's guidance will disappear over time. You'll want a lot of hammers for this one. Delve under the Karakara Bazaar, bring a lot of hammers, and break through the rocks to uncover a hidden quest that's quite quick, but the payoff is immense. This will require some patience, as you'll need to finish the Gerudo Town questline before you can complete it, but it's worth it. Get inside Gerudo Town and then inside the other place you need to be to talk to Gerudo, no spoilers, and you should find a Hylian in jail. Separated from his wife and child, just hear him out and you can put the pieces together to reunite the family, somehow. Getting close enough to talk to him is a bit tricky, so I'll give you this completely random, definitely not relevant advice. A good way to get into buildings that aren't readily accessible is marking them on your map, getting underground and navigating towards the pin, and then ascending. Northeast of the Gerudo Skyview Tower, you can find a smoke signal. At the root of said smoke signal is a Hylian who is in need of a quick bit of help so he can reunite with his friends. In general, in Tears of the Kingdom, always head it towards smoke in the distance, as enemy campfires don't produce smoke that billows up that high, so it always indicates someone is in need of help, or, at minimum, there's someone to talk to. Regular puffs of smoke in the distance means the stable is nearby, so just don't get the two confused. Breen at the woodland stable is tending to the horses, but her mind is on beasts which you would not be able to register at the stable, even if your life depended on it. She's on the lookout for one specific, newly discovered creature, something that looks a little bit like a rhino. A drawing of it is pinned to the wall in one of the first stables you encounter near Lookout Landing, so you can commit it to memory, or a screenshot, rather than depending on Breen's semi-vague description. Return to Breen when you've seen the rhino creature, but I won't spoil the entire thing and tell you where to find it. Make sure you snap a photo of it to show her, though. Travel towards the South Akala stable and you'll find a lot of adorable fluffy marshmallow sheep in the pen behind the stable with their loving caretaker, who falls asleep when she starts to count them. I know, she's so adorable. Anyway, she's not having a great time, as one of her prized cuckoos has gone missing, and she's worrying about where she could possibly be. There is a well nearby that is suspiciously foul-like, but the real puzzle is when you get down inside it. No spoilers about how to complete this hidden quest, but it kept me guessing for such a long time, so this is a real thinker. 
In Breath of the Wild, you might remember having to sneak around Hateno Village to listen to what two gossiping slash just plain talking women had to say. Well, they're still talking, and it's not gossiping to be honest, they just like their privacy and hate eavesdroppers, so can we not just give them a little bit of peace? Anyway, make sure you're wearing a complete matching set of armour, head, torso and trousers, and you'll find they're much more willing to let you listen. Once again, no spoilers, but they drop some significant hits about the son of someone important and where to find him. At the Riverside Stable, you'll find someone named Ty out back who's enamoured of the legendary sword that I would imagine is the Master Sword. He's looking for his wife, Seralia, as they both have a hankering for the blade. Just follow his hints to try and find Seralia and reunite the pair. This is definitely one of those quests that you should keep a note of and continue exploring, as you'll probably slash hopefully stumble upon Seralia during your travels rather than setting out to find her, as that'll be like trying to find a needle in a haystack or a korok without a backpack or something. Oh. Hyrule Castle has seen better days, considering the red and black tendrils coming out of it, but nonetheless, the temptation of uncovering a special royal recipe is just too much for a certain chef to bear. You can get the beginning to this mini hidden quest at Lookout Landing in the Royal Shelter, or you can go straight to Hyrule Castle and hunt down, once again, no spoilers, someone who can presumably be found in a room or place associated with food within the castle. You'll be rewarded for your efforts, especially if you love cooking meals that can sell for a high price. Which is how I'm making most of my rupees in Tears of the Kingdom, by the way. And it's what you should consider doing too, because meals are worth a lot more than their separate ingredients. This one is truly spoiler free, as I haven't figured it out yet, but somehow, some way, somewhere, the lookout landing shelter should have a secret corridor. Someone scampering around its outside mutters that it used to belong to the royal family, which means there must be some kind of hidden passage they could have used to escape to safety. This doesn't get noted in your log, so it's something to keep an eye out for. I'd assume that in the passages below Hyrule Castle, or nearby cave passages, there might be something that links to the lookout landing shelter. Or you might have to pull a wall sconce or something? Let me know in the comments if you figure it out. Fairies love flutes. Numerous times i found a great fairy who's retreated to her bud after the upheaval and refuses to come out. Relatable. I also like to be left alone when stuff goes wrong. Wish I had a giant flower bud though. Anyway, the only way to get her to come out of her bud is to find the oft-mentioned travelling musical troupe, who are somewhere in Hyrule. They're spoken of as being somewhere near the woodland stable, so I'd follow the sound of music and keep on the lookout for those musicians in need of help, as solving their problem will doubtless bring the great fairies out of their buds. Once again, this isn't noted in your adventure log at all, so you're welcome. In the Zora Kingdom, you'll find a child who is worried about their favourite Hylian merchant named Sasan. It's been a while since they've turned up to the Zora Kingdom, and you can catch the kid writing a letter to try and find out if Sasan is okay. There are hints that the merchant might be stuck and covered in sludge somewhere, so when you're journeying around the Zora Kingdom, I recommend you always have at least one splash fruit with you. By the way, I tried to cleanse a Zora guard of sludge by throwing a splash fruit at him, but annoyingly, and surprisingly for Tears of the Kingdom, it didn't cleanse the sludge, nor would he accept the fruit when I held it in my hands. I expected more, but that's a small gripe, I guess. I'd wager that Splash Fruit will work on the sludgy Sasan, wherever they are. There you go. You might want to write some of those down, as God knows I could not keep track of all of that in my head. Those are 12 quests you can easily miss in Tears of the Kingdom, and if you want more, please do let me know in the comments below and I shall keep noting down the pesky tasks that refuse to be logged in my adventure log. In general, if you're looking for quests you may have missed, 
Just make sure you talk to NPCs whenever you can and watch for those telltale red words in their dialogue. Don't be afraid to keep talking to them until they have no new dialogue to offer. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to Eurogamer and like this video for more videos from yours truly, as we have a new video out almost every single day. Now, I'm going to go and try to find that damn musical troupe, so I'll see you lovely lot next time.